What's up, Eagle Players? Alex here, AKN95. I am absolutely freezing right now, so I'm using a spell ground as a blanket. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to bring you guys a quick video on a discussion about an old floodgate, as the title says, that I think can really resurface this format and in the coming formats, just simply based off of the huge surge in pendulum based decks and the whole pendulum push that Konami's making with the game. And I'm gonna hop right into it, and the floodgate is Kaiser Coliseum. Now, I hated this floodgate for a long, long time. Um, if you guys don't know what it does by some chance, which is very unlikely, but I'll go ahead and show you guys. It says, if there is one or more monsters on the, on the field of the controller of this card, his or her opponent cannot place a monster on the field if his or her number of monsters would exceed the number of monsters that are on the field of this card's controller. The cards that are already on the field before this card's activation are unaffected by this effect, and it is a continuous spell. So naturally, this is one of the only spell floodgates if you if you will that has seen probably the most play as a spell floodgate that i can think of off the top of my head there's probably a couple others um but this is definitely one of the most hated ones uh this card was predominantly used in bujins uh, a couple years ago uh when bujins first came out to pretty much lock the opponent out with like either the the exceed guys for bujins or just like a yamato and protect it with like turtle and and hair and you know crane and whatnot and it would just be very very annoying and the reason why I think this card could really resurface is because there's, like, outside of, like, Emptiness, which has a lot of outs to it. I mean, a lot of cards have a lot of outs to it, but that, that really isn't justification for why a card is or isn't good. Um, I would definitely say that Col Kaiser Coliseum is going to get significantly better with Pendulums because Pendulums are able to put so many monsters on the board. They can put, you know, they have their normal summon, generic special summons, but then on top of that, they can just Pendulum summon up to five monsters at will, and... If you can lock them out of the game with something as simple as Kaiser Coliseum, they'll have to out this first before they can extend their board. And uh, obviously right now, the way the format's going, this card is, uh, I think this card is actually like, I'm just surprised this card isn't seeing more play to be honest. Like it's obviously terrible against Cosmos because they really only play, play and interact the game with one monster and they just beat you down. Um, but outside of that, every other deck right now, whether it be, you know, the, the Pendulum Magician deck, whether it be uh, Magus Spectres, whether it be Burning Abyss because they're still alive, whether it be Teller Knights, uh, you know, there, there's a bunch of other decks and I can keep going on and on, but outside of Cosmos, I think this card actually can just hurt a lot of those decks and I'm really surprised that people aren't really talking or considering this card, um, especially with people not really main decking MST. MST isn't really that great main deck across the board, obviously. So, I mean, I would think that Floodgates, like, and I talked about this in my video yesterday, where I said that I feel decks right now have a significantly lower ability to recover and at the same time just have a lower ceiling for their plays, uh, which means they're often more susceptible to Floodgates and they're just more impactful across the board. So if you guys haven't checked that video out, go check it out. Um, I'll probably link it here, you know, as my previous video. Uh, you guys should go definitely, uh, you know, watch the video. I think it's very, I think it's very informative and it's very insightful. Like, I really gave you guys some opinions on why cards like Floodgates and Kaiser Coliseum is very effective, uh, at least right now. And uh, I really wanted to highlight this card, like I said, just because I don't think a lot of people are talking about it. And I think this card is only going to get better. And I think this card in the future could be like the next like five to ten dollar Floodgate as a common for all we know. Uh, just because it's, you know, if the game is shifting to more pendulum based, uh, you know, the way the way Konami wants it to be, and a lot more user friendly, you know, the decks having lower ceilings, then this card could just be very, very imperative to just locking your opponent out of the game. And I'm not saying floodgates are healthy for the game, but I don't think they're necessarily unhealthy. Like, I, like, I want to, like, it, it, it's a card that I would love to have as an advantage going into the next premier event, for instance, you know, hypothetically, so... Something to consider, just something I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think this card could see some play? Comment down below if you guys agree with me that this card does have a lot more potential moving forward. Um, if not, maybe there's another one I talked about, Imperial Iron Wall recently, particularly with regards to Cosmos and uh, Infernoids. But I think Kaiser Coliseum is definitely a lot more impactful. I didn't really want to talk about it first before I did the, the video yesterday, so... Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Check out my other video. Subscribe if you already haven't. That is Kaiser Coliseum. Most of you guys... Uh, you know, should have experienced this card if you played the last couple years of Yu-Gi-Oh! with Bujins. Um, I hated this card being used against me a lot because I was often on the opposite end of this card, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's something to consider. I would not be surprised. I mean, I, for all I, I could imagine, you know, Cosmos using this card because it doesn't hurt them at all, and they could just put one big monster and imagine playing, like, a Pendulum deck versus, like, a giant, uh, you know, like a giant Dark Destroyer or something along those lines. You just being un unable to clear this card and their big monster and you're not unable to establish a giant board to try and combat it. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. 
Um, peace out, you guys. Check my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, all that stuff will be down below. Um, it's not my Facebook fan page. I'm not really going to be linking my personal Facebook anymore. I may stop adding people on there in general. Um, so you guys can just check me out. I changed all my stuff to add inch 95 and slash inch 95. So all my social, me social media networks have been updated a little bit in the description. Um, Black Ops 3, double XP this weekend. So I need to do that as well as uh, my term papers. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving week and Black Friday week this coming week. And uh, I'll see you guys in more videos. Drop some more video ideas. And I do my best to live stream a little bit between studies and all my work. So. Peace out, guys. See you tomorrow. And uh, remember, duelists, limits like fears are often just an illusion. See you next time, guys.